On Wednesday, September 28th, one of the strongest hurricanes to ever make landfall hit our home in the southwest coast of Florida. Fortunately, Aaron and I, the kids and Bo are all safe having fled to the east coast just two days prior. Having now returned home and seen the devastation firsthand, we are more than ever committed to helping those who have lost more. So all of the proceeds from this video, including any ad revenue and sponsorship funds, will be donated to those in need who have suffered loss from Hurricane Ian. This is our story from the last week. Hey, Eat, Move, Rest fam. We are finally back home and settling back into our routines again. The past week has been very traumatic. We are so thankful that we listened to our intuition and got out of here. We somehow managed to make it somewhat of a little family vacation, but it didn't go without stress and anxiety and a little bit of not knowing what we would come home to. We are all safe and sound. Our home is safe. We recorded tons of phone content that we're gonna share throughout this video. Maybe it'll give you a glimpse into what experiencing a extreme natural disaster is like. We are not native Floridians. You guys know this. We just moved here back in June. So this was very, very unexpected for us. We did not imagine that we would ever be in this situation so soon after moving. And we learned a lot over the course of the week and we're so grateful to be safe and sound. Our thoughts and prayers go out to all of those who are affected in any way, shape, or form by Hurricane Ian. I'm also gonna give a huge shout out to Thrive Market, today's video sponsor, for coming through in a pinch. So while we were away, we knew that we would have to come home to emptying out our refrigerator. We lost power for an entire week, so I placed a Thrive Market order hoping that everything would arrive safe and sound for our arrival home. And lo and behold, we came home to a Thrive Market box on our doorstep with all of our essential food favorites to get us through this difficult time because grocery stores, gas stations, everything is kind of out of commission right now. So Thrive Market really came through for us. I absolutely love using them because first and foremost, they offer amazing foods at a discounted rate. And I love that I can filter and select vegan, USDA organic, gluten-free, non-GMO, everything to my liking so I can find exactly what I need. That I sometimes have difficulty finding in the grocery stores here, all of our favorites that we just can't live without. So things like jarred tomato instead of canned, I love their sprouted grains, sprouted rolled oats. I would never have been able to find that in a grocery store. Sprouted brown rice, sprouted pumpkin seeds. It takes a little bit of the work out of doing these things at home, but most importantly, I always save money when I shop on Thrive Market. If you guys are interested in checking out Thrive Market, I highly recommend clicking the link in the description because when you place your first order, you will get a free $60 gift. They are the best gift givers. You guys will not be disappointed. Okay, my cell phone, but the hub's bread and butter, so he's gonna do the honors of showing you guys the gear he picked up for our hurricane preparedness. Yes, so we had intended, or I had at least intended to buy all of these things when we moved to Florida. So our hurricane kit, right, that was one of the first things that our neighbors sent to us when we moved here. I honestly wasn't very prepared, but again, I knew I needed these things. So this hurricane, rapidly approaching it has kind of lit a fire under my rear end so yesterday we went and bought 20 gallons of water like 20 gallons of gas like 10 gallons of liquid propane a generator that runs off of either or propane and or gas so glad we went when we did because there were literally a line of people like trying to buy all of the same things again this is not like what we had wanted to have to prepare for, but you know, it's just life and it's part of it. And the we're- The same as like, it's like a lot of the things that we're doing to prepare are the same things that we're doing to prepare for a food shortage. So right. it kind of works hand in hand and it's actually like kind of a blessing in disguise. Right. We're learning so much. All right, you guys. So I am enjoying a salad and I am shopping on Thrive Market, stocking up because we are in for our first tropical storm slash possible hurricane. Trying to stock up on some dry goods, some things like grains and beans and pastas. I started the morning a little bit in a panic after talking to a friend up in Sarasota. She was telling me all the scoop from her neighbors on what to do and how to be prepared, which I'm grateful for. Our mailman and our babysitter and another friend in Florida who have like been here for a long time have all seemed to say like, just stay calm. No need to worry yet. We don't even know if or when or where it's gonna hit. 
Good morning, you guys. So we are getting more and more information as this tropical storm Ian progresses into a super strong hurricane. I think it's supposed to make landfall in Cuba and then we're supposed to know more after that, but it's not looking good. It's sounding like the storm surge is gonna be, be the main issue of concern, which means like a lot of water, like everywhere. Like double digit rainfall plus storm surge equals bad news. So we might get out of here. Um, I'm not sure what to say. I'm admittedly nervous, uh, admittedly feeling pretty anxious about this one all of a sudden. Hurricane Ian or Tropical Storm Ian is about to become a major hurricane and could do serious damage. Last night, um, right before we were going to bed, a, a follower of our channel, our YouTube channel, sent me a message on Instagram that was like, hey, I've been in Florida my whole life. I've never seen anything like this. They're talking about 18 inches of rain. On top of that, the storm surged that I had no idea. So yeah, we are kind of at a loss. Okay guys, we have made the decision to leave. We are somewhat frantically packing up our valuables. I've got camera gear, computers, documents, um, you know, passports, everything super important packed up in there. I've got batteries. Um, and now Aaron is packing some dried food. Unfortunately, it's so sad, kind of scary. We've got a couple coolers for frozen food. I am like so bogged down in my mind. I'm like, I had to cut myself off from my phone because there's been so much negativity, not just negativity, but like fear mongering. So I'm just staying connected with a couple of moms in the area who have kind of given me more peace of mind, people who have been through this before. And yeah, other than that, it's just like really time to just like put the blinders on and, and do what you have to do and focus on doing it quickly. So I'm just trying to keep my mind really focused, not on like my emotions, but on like actionable items that have to get checked off before we leave. I'm going to bring all the outdoor furniture in, obviously put the pool cover on, and I'm gonna to try to elevate like our chairs. You know, we of course have bought all new furniture for our new home and it's just so sad and disappointing to think that we might come home to, um, you know, flood damage. So we're hoping and praying that that's not the case, but I'm gonna do my best to prepare. Out here, sweating my tuchus off. Whew. I've got all the outdoor patio furniture taken off and I've actually strapped it to the fence. Oh man, I mean, there's only so much you can do. So these rain barrels I mentioned, I filled both of them right here. So we've got a hundred gallons of fresh water for when we come home. Hopefully things will be okay. But if not, we've got fresh water to drink. We can boil it if we really need to, but oh, what a mess. The kids, the kids and Aaron, have already gone. I threw all of this stuff in here. I need to organize it quick. I think I can actually set up these cushions in a way that can form kind of a barrier should water get in here. So I've got towels all over the floor. I've moved our clothes off the floor. Bo, you ready to go, buddy? Miss Tinker. Hi, bud. Seems like there might be a little bit more traffic than usual. A lot more clouds than usual. A lot of thunderheads over towards the the water right there. So I think we're we're gonna be racing away from a storm. Reflecting on all of our past adventures and trips, I think about our Costa Rica retreat and COVID hitting during the retreat and the whole world shut down. We came home just in the nick of time and we couldn't find toilet paper for like a month and we were already out at our house. And that was like a huge learning lesson. And then going to California after that and rolling the camper and having such a near death experience while I was pregnant with Liv. And now this, you know, like finally uprooting our family and leaving Nebraska for good to head to Florida and now within months of moving here within like three months we're now having to experience what could be a pretty significant weather event a hurricane i just didn't think it would happen right away but i'm almost like let's just rip this band-aid off and then sail for a while we are here at our airbnb with a close friend 
and it's amazing. We feel like very at peace, very safe here. We're over on the east side. Um, no weather yet, but I guess that's going to change very soon in a few hours. But we're hanging in there, just hoping that the storm isn't as severe as they're saying. It is Tuesday afternoon. Yep, 3 p.m. straight up. Yep. Yesterday morning we hurried up and now we wait. <laughs> yep, we made it to our Airbnb with our friend Ari and her son and we're just hanging out. Well, the most important thing is that we feel like we are all safe. That's yeah. the most important thing. But yeah. our house is a big question mark right now. Like yep. it's not looking good. I'm visualizing like <laughs> coming home to like everything being flooded. Yeah. But you know, we were trying to make peace with that so that we can be prepared when we get home. Yep, the hurricane's supposed to hit like right above where we live, like miles, like not very far at all. So we're just trying to take it as a sign from God. Like we just need to remain detached from the material things, stay safe be around our family and we'll rebuild if we have to rebuild there's like we all have these last few years you know emotionally and physically and this is just another one of those things so and i told these guys i've seen a pair of sandhill cranes today yesterday and the day before and i'm always looking for like the symbolism behind like nature and animals and different encounters yep so let us know in the comments what does that mean what time is it? It made okay. landfall. The it's eyes. One, it's 1.35. This is it right here. Um, again, we live right over here in this area. And it's just like going to smoke the whole area right there. Honestly, I'm talking to neighbors. It doesn't look as bad as they've said it was going to. High tide is apparently at 6 p.m. So that's not going to help with the storm surge. But that's where it is right now. It's literally making landfall. And I'm like shaking a little bit the eye is like moments away we're the gonna eye watch is moments it live away. it's on 30 miles sweat. wide and it's no joke going to pass over our house i think so i just assumed i'd play the part of keeping you in the right direction guys so we are feeling such an overwhelming sense of relief this morning the storm has passed we're still in the Airbnb obviously we're trying to debate if we want to head home tomorrow or Saturday you're just so beyond grateful and thankful for all of your prayers and well wishes and your thoughts our babysitter's parents went and stopped by our house and said our fence was damaged our pool cover was damaged but everything else looked intact um, later on, we're going to have a friend stop by and look inside our house. We're hoping there was no flooding. It sounds like the water was up to the driveway, but not up to the house. I don't even know how. Man, I just feel so bad. My heart goes out to everybody in Fort Myers and Naples where it seems like they really got the worst of it. I don't know how, but I'm just grateful to God for protecting us as a family. The stuff doesn't matter. And I'm so glad we listened to our in intuition to just flee and evacuate and get somewhere safe because there's no way I could have ever stuck through that. It was horrific. Okay, you guys, so we just got home um, to our house. It is um, 
just crazy. So we had to drive through Fort Myers to get back here. I-75 um, going north was closed. So we went down Old Highway 41 through Fort Myers and Punta Gorda and Port Charlotte and up to up to home here and it was just crazy it looked like a tornado happened everywhere which obviously yes is is basically what did happen but i have never seen anything like it so you know we're feeling very fortunate again that our house is still standing our house has been pretty much un untouched um there's just a lot of mess to clean up which is again a little bit frustrating i feel bad i kind of lost my temper as soon as we got home max was running all over the place and there's just so much to do there's so much to pick up and i guess the frustrating thing and the sad thing was like we had just gotten it put back together um when you move and you buy a new house and uh now we're we're really having to kind of start over with with a lot of things in the yard at least but again i don't really want to say too much or complain because we drove by some people um some people's houses and property that is completely gone so yeah not sure what those people are gonna do feeling feeling very bad um feeling a little bit more emotional than i thought i would um you know, some anger, some frustration, some sadness. Um, yeah, it's just too bad. Main thing is we're home now. We have power. Uh, we have water, even though I don't think we're supposed to drink the water. Um, yeah. It, uh, life never quits, does it? It just never gives you uh, time to catch up. But we're resilient, and we, again, for the most part, have been... Um, untouched so we're feeling very fortunate but yeah just really um, just can't believe just can't believe it all so anyway we're gonna be all right that's the main thing you can see right here the trees are just no bueno if you guys remember this was like all forest before it's like Look at the, the, the tree bark disappeared like off this tree. It's totally stripped. I've never seen anything like that before. Let's zoom in. Holy cow. Poor palm tree. No good. These are our, these were our two banana palms right there and right there. Mangoes, like I said, should be okay. Our little figgy fig is okay right here. It's got some figs on it. Man, looks like they have some roof damage out there and there. Are you helping dad? Mm -hmm. Good job. You're sure working hard. Mm -hmm. Give me a thumbs up. <laughs> Proud of you. Mm -hmm. You just love to do everything with dad, don't you? There are three things we all do every day and we could all be doing them better. Eat, move, and rest. We're Dusty, Aaron, Max, Olivia, and Bo, and we're the Stanzix. We aspire to live a plant-centric, faith-forward, healthy lifestyle and welcome all of the adventures that accompany it. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our minds in between on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within. 